1980s, Creech Air Force Base. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency adds modern day technology to the decades old idea of using remotely piloted aircraft for reconnaissance purposes. As a result, the Air Force immediately purchases a long endurance RPA called the NAT 750. This endeavor would lead to the development and production of the RQ-1 Predator in the early 1990s. And by 1996, operators were flying intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions over the Balkans. The challenges and successes of yesteryear led to the cutting-edge weapon systems the Air Force flies today. The RQ-4 Global Hawk, the MQ-1 Predator, and the MQ-9 Reaper. Remotely piloted aircraft have proved critical to operations worldwide and were some of the first aircraft flown into Afghanistan following 9-11. These aircraft performed critical missions around the world 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and rely heavily on space systems which allow the aircraft to be flown from thousands of miles away. These platforms and the airmen that operate them are in high demand because of the intelligence and strike capabilities they provide. Since the conception of remotely piloted aircraft in the 1940s, remarkable airmen have pushed the limits to ensure success. We must inspire airmen of tomorrow to recognize unmanned systems as mission critical and to understand that their roles will continue to expand as we work to define their place in modern warfare.